Hey folks, welcome aboard. We're on another one. This is a crazy adventure here. I get stuck in a washed out ravine. It's not a trench. I'd say it's a ravine. I'm just trying to get to where the beginning of the video is here. I'm trying to make it up to the top of the hill so I can make my morning coffee and start my video. So what happens here, I got a few gnarly obstacles to get through. The one that got me, I, I slipped into a trench. The rear wheel came off the ground. You'll see it. I'm not gonna explain the good stuff. Fasten your seat belts, pull them tight, and hang on for a wild seven minutes. Please like, subscribe, and ring the bell. Bing! Obstacle number two, weird angles, folks. Look at that. That's just not right. That's why you pack your, your bus all the weight as low as you can so it slides instead of tips over. I'll walk up through this when I grab the camera and you'll, you'll see how rough it, it really is. Look at that, that's pretty crazy stuff. I mean, the camera actually doesn't show how steep it is, but it's pretty good. Got some beautiful views. Pretty exciting stuff here. Yeah, this is that guy. This is the third obstacle. down the center of the, the trail. Made it through. <laughs> I had to put the camera down. Oh yeah. Another little section here. Then the fourth obstacle. Let's see how we deal with the fourth one. If I should straddle it with all those rocks right there, maybe I should have. Front bumper hits, the wheel comes off the ground. You can hear the RPMs come up. The tranny shifted and switched off the accelerator cable. Probably 33% throttle, 35% throttle. Lands on the ground, and I break the gearbox. Broke my butt right there. Yeah, let's turn around. A lot knocked, right? A lot knocked. Oh, we're looking up in the air, right? Yeah, mumbling to myself. Doing so good until I slipped off my my line and fell into this hole. Yeah, I just didn't hold this. There's some big old bowling balls. One wheel up, one wheel down, weird angles. It just it just started bouncing over. That's, that's it right in here. I hit one of these rocks and it picked up that rear wheel. Wing, blam, landed on the ground real hard. Broke the gearbox. All right, folks, since I'm stuck out in the middle of nowhere, I thought I should capture this. This is exciting. Anyways, that's where I was stuck. So I, was, I, I came up, it happened really fast. It's, it slid down into the hole. My accelerator cable got stuck and the bus lifted and the wheel was spinning at 60 miles an hour and came down and grenaded my gearbox down I got it loose I backed it down I stuffed it into this wall right here this berm I pulled it forward now I'm on my next clear out to pull it back got to clear out a little bit more of the 
put it out so I could get it to go down. If I could get it to roll down the hill, that'll be rewarding for me right now. It's clunky, but it's all right. If I could get, I don't know how far, but if I could get just, if I'm heading in the right direction, someone can give me a, a tow to the power line road. And if I could find someone else to tow me either to the 95 or the 66, I'll be styling. But until then, I'm not styling. I'm stressing out. Oh well, we'll see how it goes. I'll do some hiking in a little bit after I get this thing turned around. You know, I'm, I'm a little, it's hard to push uphill here, so I gotta be careful, you know? Make sure my my poles are in the right direction. I spent about four hours shoveling rocks and digging it out to get it to turn around. Almost around the corner. I'm almost at that pivot point where you have to be near the brakes. Can't just leave it neutral. It's scary now. So I'm gonna go backwards a little bit. And then after that, try to push in the door section, jump in put the e-brake on and hang on hang in there folks we got this wait 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 weird angles folks i got picked up by two guys they end up towing me five miles to highway 95 so lucky true blessing this guy's a hero saved my life I got picked up by the company, a tow truck. They sent out a flatbed to pick me up and drag me home. You know, when we first got in, he, he asked me if I was all right, I need any water or anything. If I needed anything out of the bus, he'd get it for me. He was really, really a great person. You know, I stopped and he got some munchies because we were a few hours away. Uh, I don't know, maybe three and a half hour drive. He brought a bunch of food for me and drinks for me too. Unexpected. We talked all the way home for three hours like we knew each other forever. What a great experience I had with these guys.